Hello everyone, so I finished this project that I was working on in the last two and a half weeks and it looks pretty good. However, I want to say that it's only a small part of everything I want to do and the other stuff is going to take quite a bit of time uh, and money and stuff like that. So I have four different components, but before I show you that or tell you more about that, um, here's the project uh, results. So I just kind of cleaned up the last bit of mess that I had today and mopped the floor and stuff like that. So I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, so the last thing that, that was kind of challenging was to just try to get in those receptacles and try to fix it in while getting the plywood to work. I was, it's a lot of, it was a lot of work because you had to get like I had to hold my um, shoulder up really, you know, over trying to span like maybe 36 inches of, ah, no, not that much, like 22 feet of uh, gypsum board. So, you know, while trying to nail at a weird angle. So that was probably one of the hardest parts because trust me, my arm was giving out real fast. And it's like, well, you, well, why, why should it, right? But if somebody were to have really much smaller strength or even a fraction of it, it would it'd be impossible for them to do it. It'd be a two person job, but I just ended up doing it. And yeah, it was pretty, pretty neat. I think, um, let's go ahead and taste this out. The, the switch that I, that I put in. So as you can see, these little lights, it's off, on, off, on. And I think it has a pretty sleek design. Um, I don't know what it is, but, uh, it seems like my ducks are, like they might have some dirt in them because it's starting to smell weird but i think that um see i saw like after every project you may not need to be be aware of the ducks that might get dirty and smell start smelling bad i'm not sure <laughs> uh but uh, i got like something to clean the four inch ones but the other ones you know i'm probably going to get it professionally clean because yeah it's starting to smell weird but yeah, this this project is really sweet. Um, I can even hear my own voice. It's like it it basically it, it it made more space in the in the in the for this first floor in this condo to the point where yeah you I, you can hear my an echo. So um, I I think that's a that's a good result. But let's see. But yeah, I have different things I'm trying to do. So basically, there's four different things that I want to do in addition to this. And which is that basically the kitchen remodel requiring um, a demolition, a, a remodel or a re, yeah, remodel of, of the, the entire ca uh, countertops and the, ca the cabinets. Now, I'm not going to redo the layout except for this little small part. I'm going to make this entirely flat. And so far, I think I'm estimated for the materials at about 8.5 they're eight thousand five hundred dollars but i still have to go see i have to go back because i got a quote on this and they wanted basically this was also part of the quote these these lights and they wanted the the home depot department and the installers wanted me to pay twenty nine thousand dollars for this i was like i'm not gonna do that you know i mean i got all the time that i need and nobody's trying to foreclose this property or nobody's trying to kick me out you know so it's like it's just twenty nine thousand is just ridiculous, you know. So uh, yeah, I saved probably six thousand dollars doing this myself. I mean, um, this whole entire part here, and just just off rip. But uh, the other parts um, involving the kitchen, you know, I want to put LED lights underneath the new cabinets and stuff like that, and replace the these existing ones. The ones that you see here, all of them existing, just replace as as what you see. Uh, the only thing though is that I want to do is um, when you open this up, right, these two doors, you'll see that there's like kind of a lot of space here. What I want to do is I want to put like a little spacer in between and like some trim here. And obviously they're not going to be white; they're going to be like more beige. Um, I like that style, like more like brownish, I guess. Um, but the spacer here is going to be here, and then you're going to probably have four shelves, not not just not just three. Well, I call I call the bottom one a shelf. 
you know, the ones that are going to hold it up. And they're going to extend all the way in front. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. And it's going to be an interesting project because I, I don't know if they have anything for this part, but we'll see. Like that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so this is a interesting. This was an interesting project. And I guess if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out. Um, but yeah, I spent all day today just trying to go through back to my budget because once this is all done and also I'm going to the other. OK, so that's just one part, right? The other three parts, there's for there's the second thing is the bathroom remodel, which is well, I, so far I'm coming up with only about three thousand dollars on that that I'm going to need. And I don't need to have any any but I don't need to go into up to any Home Depot quote people you know like installers and ask them about how much it's going to be it's just all the materials that i can pu purchase myself there's no sizing or anything like that so we're good with that but yeah so that 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 came out to be about three thousand dollars so far and i haven't you know obviously i haven't paid for anything i'm just quoting everything and then um the other part is the is the rest of the lights so this is not just the only lights here uh, I'm going to install about 22 or 22 to 30 lights throughout the whole house because it's, it's it, it, I think it needs to be light, to have some lighting like here. You're going to it's going to be spaced enough to where and then I'm going to have like something like a, a light over there and where you can adjust it. Just the uh, the dimness. So if somebody's watching TV, they just feel like having it a little bit dimmer or they're watching watching a good movie or something. It's going to feel like a theater or something like that. <laughs> and then in the kitchen itself, I'm actually going to, it's kind of part of the kitchen remodel. I'm going to replace that light with three um, recessed lights, just kind of going in one, one row. And I have to do some electrical work at the uh, switch light or the switches over here, which shouldn't be too bad considering I did have a bit of a learning curve with this one over here, which now it's a three gang, which I'm really proud of, you know, oh! You know, I just want to listen, clap, clap for, for myself because that was, there's a lot in there. There's a lot, a lot of wires and stuff like that in there that you don't see. And it was hard to fit everything. Let's just say that. But, um, yeah, so that includes lighting like in which, which I'm still trying to figure out because it's a little, a little bit a certain like. So I want to install a, like a switch here and I don't think it's possible because I think there's actually a stud going this way. I'm not sure like, I don't know if you can tell by the knock, but because it's so short, you can't really tell by the sound. And that's, I'm going to put a recess light up here. So it's going to light up this thing and it should have had a light to begin with. I mean, if, if I had a choice, I'd put a light in here. I mean, that should be standard. That should be, you know, something that you do anyway. And obviously I'm going to have a, a hanging, um, microwave over the range i'm not going to put in duct work for that it's just going to be the inside like an event towards the inside and then um yeah i'm going to replace this light it's probably about 150 dollars with something that's more modern that matches the flooring um this is just some old piece of shit beat up uh light when i got it i i got this property at like as cheap as i could you know um for for the area and stuff like that so the problem with this is though is that it was a heavy heavy fixer upper and i wasn't informed of that so <laughs> i just have to work with whatever comes my way you know like right now so <laughs> it's like oh if i if i have the money i might as well put it down well, now, now that i know that, that i have to do all this but yeah and then so yeah the light um just want to keep going through the lights of what I'm going to do, the lighting. Oh, another one. I'm going to put also another recessed light up here. This is just canned light, basically. Well, it's it's not really canned because it's an LED recessed light. I have to drill here. This is probably going to be one of the harder ones because there's not really much space. Like, you're going to have to... I'm going to have to risk my life going on a ladder or something and then, like, try to fish the wire over here, which there's probably some two by two, two by two, two by plates. You have to drill down to catch the wiring over here. Um, it's just going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's doable, you know. As long as I don't do it on that side, because that's somebody else's place. So um, let's go ahead and 
check out some other areas here that I, I already installed this one. I probably have to, I mean, I have to do some trim work there, but it's fine. Cause I didn't drill, like I drilled too much, you know, anyway. And then, um, the bathroom also will have it. So for example, this is just some BS light. I have to really replace it. I'm going to replace it. I already got what I'm going to replace, replace this light with. And then, um, this part here, I'm going to put another recess light here. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to replace this vent with a, with a vent with a light. So this is probably going to have to become a, a four gang. This is right now a two gang. And it's going to extend all the way out here. Hopefully I don't hit a stud, but we'll see. And let's see what else. So, and then here comes the closet here. I'm going to, I'll show you the closet. So I was going to actually put in a, um, a light switch here and then the same concept put a light up there because like this doesn't really do much for you anyway so it's like we, we have to like dig real deep to find anything and then um also in these are the two bedrooms right i'm gonna put about four recess lights or i guess six recess lights i think i i, I estimated about six in here um and that's not going to be hard to do too much because I kind of know how to fish things and splice things. And everything's going to be based off of like this existing line, whatever's up there. So you just kind of fish it up, you know, fish it up. You're going to, I'm going to pre-drill all the holes, fish it out. And it's just going to be a lot of work. And um, one thing is going to rely on the other. And then eventually, eventually you'll see that everything is going to light up the same. And it's also going to be dimmable as well. So um i think i'm going to keep this as a single gang because i don't think there's any other reason although what's interesting <clears throat> i think what's interesting about this is at least some of the switches are um some of the outlets depend on the switch so that's why like if, if i turn this off I, I mean i don't want to turn it off it might um, it kind of controls the switches so i i I'm, i hes hesitate to to say that's all i got to do but it could be that that's all i got to do I really got to test it out to see like, oh, well, is that really true? Or am I just, is it just me? Cause for sure it's the case in the other bedroom. But anyway, here's moving on with the next part here um, in this closet, which I, I mean, I redid all the trim. This is all me. This, I already redid all the trim. So this is kind of, this is like the last bit of the projects before I run out. Okay. So I'm going to put one, a single gang um, switch here, which is going to control a future six inch or maybe wider uh, recess LED light here. This will benefit greatly. I know somebody's gonna love it. They're just gonna love having a light in, in here to be able to control it. Um, okay, so here, the final part uh, involving lights is over here in the master bedroom. So I'm also doing the same thing. I think I'm gonna have six light can, uh, can lights in here. The only thing though is for this part, I'm pretty sure this controls uh, the outlets over here almost for sure. I um, so I think I'm going to have to rewire it so that it doesn't, so that the wiring doesn't interfere that way. You know, I don't know why, I don't know who did it, but I, I think they made a mistake. So I might have to rewire to connect to the main line of the, the outlets. I don't even know if there is a main line for the outlets, but we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be like, Tell myself, oh, I oversimplified everything, uh, looking back and all that stuff, but we'll see. So then the final part is, this one's going to be somewhat easy. Well, so sort of. I'm going to install two recess lights, one here and then one over here. They're both going to be controlled by the same switch, which I'm going to have a new one installed here. I don't know who put this in. It's so old and gross and it's been hanging for the longest time because I planned on doing that years ago and I suddenly thought, you know what? probably shouldn't be doing this because there's too much like I, I realized oh I should add another one over here so yeah that's that's gonna be interesting but um yeah so that would be the summary of all the lights finally the, the last part is the easiest part which is probably in so the lights I'm gonna guess and I haven't really I haven't really figured it out but I think it's gonna be no more than about one thousand five hundred dollars I already got a discount on the ones that I showed you at the store um and there was only about six that i bought i think um or seven so 
it's still a big chunk, but yeah, $1,500 for the lights and $3,000 for the bathroom, about $8,000 for the kitchen or maybe 9,000. Um, I really need to, to get the quote, like solid quote on that. And then the last part, which is only $500, I think is gonna be six or $600, the crown molding. And maybe it won't even be that much. Um, all I'm planning on doing is with the crown molding, um, I thought about putting it here, but maybe I should. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in here, like all, you know, hugging all this area. I'm gonna put it in, not in the bathroom. I'm gonna put it in this bedroom, hugging this entire area. And then in this bedroom, I'm gonna do the same thing. So, you know, I don't know how many feet that is, but it's quite a bit. And so that that's probably gonna be like a two day project to do like the first floor. And I already started on this on this floor because I came up with my own way of, I guess, because of architecture, my architectural background or structural background, to basically marry the first floor to the second floor. Because like, for example, so I started with the crown molding here, right? So I, this was a lot, is a lot harder than it looks. Um, I did some crazy stuff to try to make it kind of go together. And then um, if you go all the way down here, this, this part was hardest, was very difficult for me. It still doesn't look uh, like it's done very well. Um, but like I put like some wood filler here. I tried to miter it a certain way and it just didn't really turn out too well. But it is what it is. Nobody's going to really notice it as far as I know. But anyway, so that's supposed to go throughout, right? And then um, you're going to keep going, keep going. That, that mitering felt like a really hard calculus problem. I'm not even going to lie. Like the whole trigonometry of trying to get all that right. That was, I don't know why. It just was <laughs> felt impossible. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, it's going to hug all the way up to here, all the way up to here. And then we're going to continue on probably trying to cap it somewhere where the glass railing begins. Um, actually, no, 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 I take it back. I'll, I'm going to stop it right there. And how, how I'm going to cap it. Nah, that's a good question. I never really thought about that. Um, it just sounds like, no, I'm going to just miter it. I mean, you could just miter it to, to, to end somewhere, you know, it kind of will just turn. So halfway, cause it won't go all the way. It's going to be a three inch or one. So there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it to, to end up there. Cause that's like two and a half inches of recess or whatever. But anyway, that's a summary of what I got going on. Thanks. Oh, and I almost forgot about the last one, which actually this is, yeah, okay, there is a fifth one. Okay, there's a fifth project, and I don't know why I forgot. Obviously, I forgot. It's the window remodeling. So the windows are, are crap. They're absolute shit. Um, I have to really re redo these, you know, like here. Like they're just like from the 1940s. And we always joke around. It's like 1940s. It's like some bullshit, you know. It's... Um, <laughs> It's a single pane and it just sucks. So I'm going to redo those. And that's, that is actually so far. Um, I think I can get, I think I got quoted for $5,000 of materials, but I think it can actually go down to 2000 if I find the right people. Anyways, thanks for watching.